A new feature has been confirmed for Season 8 of the MCC in a big Halo MCC event coming our way as well. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So there was this feature that 343 has been working on for over a year when it comes to adding this into the MCC and we're finally going to get a chance to add it into the game with the release of Season 8 and this epic Halo event brings in some classic members of the community including Ninja himself. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos make sure you tap that like button it really helps out the video and trying to get a better place within the algorithm as well guys if you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite well, make sure you tap subscribe right there. So let's get right into the content. So recently we had an update on the development of the Master Chief Collection and that update being about the weapon offsets, which is something that players have been asking for since the release of Halo Reach on the PC. And it looks like it's finally coming our way guys with season eight. Now we did get a chance to flight this back with the season six flight, but obviously we did not get around to getting a chance to play it, but looks like we're finally getting that opportunity now. As stated here within the blog update saying offsets will be supported per title for CE, 3, 4, ODST, and Reach. Each title will have slight variations to the min and max cap, of weapon offsets per bracket to avoid egregious clipping. Interestingly, they don't mention Halo 2. Obviously, we do know that the engine is rather hard to work with, but they talk about why the Halo 2 is a little different compared to all the other Halo games. So here's an example of a screenshot of what they're showcasing. You can do your rifles, heavies, and looks like pistols, as you can see up here as well. You have the option for pistols. You have depth, horizontal, and vertical. Horizontal was a feature that was added in as per the feedback from Season 6 Flight. But here's the catch when it comes to Halo 2. They stay here specifically due to the fact that there are three different Halo 2 engines, we are only able to provide a single set of sliders for classic slash campaign for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer weapons at launch. We hope to split these settings out in a future update. Continuing on saying that we are not able to provide as broad of a range of values for each category as we would like to due to the way armors and animations were originally created for each individual title. Though I do find it odd that they use Halo 2 Anniversary here as an example of what this looks like in game. But it sounds like what, from my experience, from just reading this, that this isn't going to be as in-depth of a feature within Halo 2. You'll probably just have like your general offsets that would control all your weapons for just like depth, horizontal, and vertical, rather than having each individual weapon set like we will have with the various other Halo games like CE, 3, 4, ODST, and Reach. Now to me, this kind of just begs the question of when can we expect the flighting to happen for Season 8, and when can we actually expect Season 8 to finally be released to us to all? As the release of Season 7 was back on June 23rd, so if they're going to continue on with the two month cadence, well then next week we should have season eight, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. As they have stated that they do want to flight the features and things that are coming with season eight before it actually does go live, which you could definitely see later on this week. And if that does happen, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. I believe the last flight was actually rather short, like just like a weekend kind of thing. Though I do have a feeling we will see the season eight release date sometime before the Labor Day weekend, which is an extended weekend here in the US. So I could totally see this season eight update going live maybe on September 1st. But as always, as soon as we get more information, I guarantee to let you guys know on this channel. Now this next bit of Halo news is happening this week and we're having a massive Halo event happening and it's bringing back some legends from the Halo 2 competitive scene in with this event as well. And this event that we're talking about here is talking about Twitch Rivals. We're going to be having a $50,000 tournament with 16 Halo 2 legends battling in three historic formats. I'm guessing like Slayer, Casual Flag, and probably Ball. All this being under Halo 2 throwback with featuring Ninja and captains of T-Squared, Ghost Yami, Elamite, as well as Walshi. Some straight up legends from the Halo competitive scene. And it looks like we're having some casting from Puckett as well as DMAC, who are guys who used to be part of MLG. I mean, Puckett's been a prominent caster for just video games. Started out with the Halo days way back then for over a decade. He's been doing this whole thing now. So seeing some real Halo 2 legends being involved with this is super cool. And this looks like it will begin on the 19th of this week, starting at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. You guarantee 
your guy here will be watching some Twitch Rivals events when it comes to some classic Halo 2 because not only is it just going to be like some really well played Halo 2 but these guys like probably know all the tips and tricks and all the little things that happens when it comes to playing classic Halo 2 competitively because these guys all made a name for themselves during Halo 2 like doing crazy button combos and things like that so I would totally see this being happening again and seeing all these legends come back is just so cool and of course seeing Ninja involved with Halo again is always just a really fun thing again that's this Thursday 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time you get a chance to check out that Halo 2 Twitch Rivals event so if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen and here I got a playlist link to all my Halo news and videos that we've been uploading daily about thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it I'll catch you on the next one Peace out.